And hello, and here we are, here I will continue keep continue where I last um, finished this um, video. I just created this reset reset um, function, and let's go back where we where we were before that, which was this do operation. Do operation. So do operation happens when we press any of these any of these buttons here. Uh, not this one actually, but these five buttons currently. So let's see what we are doing here. So again, if it was an error, if it if the if the calculator is in an error state, for example, if if it we just divide it by zero, that would be an error state. So then we just return. We are we don't operate with any operations. Then, otherwise, we will read all the values from the, all the controls, and we will put the values the corresponding. Um, strings, uh, string variables, uh, sorry, variables, and then we will, um, what we are doing here is that, because it's an operation, obviously, uh, before the operation, let's say that we press 5, and the operation is uh, multi multiplied by, now, when we press, when we press this operation, there is always, there is always a, um, corresponding indexer before that. So so that's why we are sending first this this indexer five or sorry number five it could be decimal also. We send this number five first to the calculator. And after that we will send this this operator, this multiplied operator to the calculator. So that's what we're doing here. So Okay, uh, and and actually, actually this this boolean value here is actually telling that are we doing that? Are we first sending the digit, uh, the number first, and then then this operator? So if this handle number is true, whoever is calling this function, if they set this true, then we will first send the last number, which is in this example is five the calculator. So to do to do that we will create an action object here and we will set the action type to be the number and then we will fill up the value because this is a standard library standard C library um, uh, double and uh, this output is this is a, a MFC string so that's why I'm using this and this is a white string, by the way, in this project. That's why I'm, I need this white white string to float function to convert it to to double. And then I will just um, add it, add this input to the calculator to the history. Uh, yeah, uh, call this add input, which will do the do the adding and whatever it needs to do to add this this value there and then after that <coughs> we will add the oper operation the operation itself so in this case we will add this multiplication operation so to do that we will set the action type uh, to the operation in this case it will be multiplied by uh, okay, what is this error input here? Why do we need that? Okay, we are using that error input at the end of here, so let's not worry about that too much. We are just initializing this error input to false. Obviously, there is no error currently here. I think it's I think it's to do with the dividing by zero later on this code, but at the moment there is no error. So so then we do try try catch block here, which is taking. Um, if there are any errors happening uh, from the calculator, and at the moment the only only case is that if it's if we are dividing by zero, it will throw this exception over here. This is the only case at the moment when this will happen. Uh, if it happens inside this try try block here, it will jump to the catch block if that happens, and if we will do the error handling here. If there is no errors we will only do this try block here all the way to here. 
and then be able to continue to here so let's continue from from here so we start first we will add we will just add this input this operation let's say multiplication we will add that um, input to the calculator and um, now here this is a bit uh, a bit complicated and why am I doing it? so here what, what I'm doing here is that um, we are only updating updating the the output output which is this 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 box here we are only updating that output if if um, let me read this again the only situation we will not print the total result here is if both them and expression have values currently yeah let's see let's see an example here for example um, we have a situation like this, we have 56 plus 8 and then if I press multiply multiplied by here so if I press this multiply here and we come here what happens now is that um, da -da -da -da. The only situation we will not print the total result here is if both term and expression have values currently. For example, this one divide and we would not like to print the total result of this yet because that will be 3. We want to wait until the term is finished. If the if the if the term has not value or the expression has no value, then we will print print. So if they both yeah yet yeah, yeah the, okay now now I remember <laughs> it always <laughs> I always for, forget it's how complicated this. Um, okay, in this example for example, um, this is the left expression because left expression is the left hand side of the plus operation will be a left expression so left expression is 56 and in this case the right so sorry the left term here is 8 okay so they both have values they both have a value and this is what this function is checking that has left term a value or and has the left expression a value in this case they both have values so we will not update the output I will show why so let's do this situation here so if I run this calculator here and I press 56 plus 8 multiplied and as you can see nothing happened here when I pressed multiplied here uh, this this output window does not react that's how I, I just do it. I only I only update this one when we are we have finished this calculation here. So that's why um, both of them this has a value, this uh, expression has a value, and this term has also a value. I, then it will not go here. But if only one of them, uh, just a second. Uh, but if only, but for example, if we press 56 plus and we say 3 and then we say <coughs> then we say uh, minus now now we now because we don't have any term um, in this case in this case the term has no value so it will go inside here and it will print print the new value and uh, the other situation will be 8 
multiplied by seven. In this case, in this case, the and if we press minus here, it would go again here because in this case the the left expression has no value. That and uh, yeah, so that's why we go here. So now we say that again we are using this string stream string stream and we get the current result from the calculator and we will edit the stream and then we will uh, take the string from the stream and put it to this current result we will set the output to zero, uh, to zero here and then we will add this uh, string from this the current result string we will add it to the output Just looking that why do I do this? Uh, yeah, yeah, we will because because we now in this case we always we have a new new output value. We have a new value. So now if I type here three and then I type um, <coughs> plus. Now now this eighty comes here because we now now we know what is this result here. So that's why we will first. Uh, we will set first uh, zero this uh, this value here, and then we will just add the 80. This one adds the 80 here to the output, and this one updates the window. This window here. Okay. Um, if there was an error error in uh, in an input, some kind of error, then we just print a message unknown operation well this only happens if there was a coding mistake that we we did the error this never never should happen here but i just put it just in case here and um, okay if if exception happens that we divide it by zero it comes here and it it will ask from the exception that what is the what is the what is the uh, what is the error message and that error message is created it, uh, it's returned from here so this what returns the error error text what we just inputted there earlier um, uh, not earlier but I mean here it's this one here so this what returns that string and then we will put that string to the output window and we will say that uh, we will initialize that the first digit was not inter entered and we will we will set the error input uh, we, we will say that uh, there is an error now so we will set this boolean factor true meaning that uh, there is an error current currently let's see what let's see w this one happening so if I say it's 1 divided by 0 and equals so here we get this error message and uh, so here the output is taking that uh, error message here and we are just initializing a couple of things here and uh, this update false false will will show this message here okay in any case we will continue here and we will create the history history text here which is this one here as we can see even the error text is here now so create history text create history yeah we already done this create history text so so it will create the history history text here and then um, okay there is a special situation after that that if the if the operation was an equal equal if we press this equal operation here let's uh, reset so if I say 3 plus 5 and then if I press equals 8 so then it definitely comes here because I just press this equal it goes here let's see what happens here if if um, yeah if there was an error if we just got this divided by zero it will add a space here let's see if that's true um, 
just a second, sorry. Uh, history text plus equals. We do the one divided by zero equals. Oh yeah, it puts this zero here actually. Yeah, uh, sorry, this space here. So if we got an error here, it means that this error became true here. Then we will first we will first add the space because there was no space there. That's just a small issue, but anyway, I'm adding the space, and then we will we will um, we will just print here whatever output value is. Normally the output is something like um, uh, the result here, but but in this case it could be an error message, for example. But whatever it is, we will ju we just add add it to the to the history text here, to this text here, uh, and then we will we'll, we will just update all the windows, says all the control windows here. So this whatever value in in, in is in this variable, it will go to the corresponding control, which is this control here, and also this control will be will be updated the value the corresponding variable has. And always this at the end of this function we will say that the first digit entered is assigned the false. And why is that? Because do operation um, yeah because we just press one of these buttons here like two plus six and then uh, if I say uh, uh, multiply it by now now this box here um, it starts from the scratch now because we pressed one of these so we are initializing that the first digit enter is false we haven't entered any first digits yet for the for the new new session so now when I press 8 it becomes the, the first digit entered here yeah that's how it works Okay, and uh, I wonder if I if I have done everything now here. Obviously not. Um, th there are there are some things here we need to do still. Um, we need to reset here, just in case, the everything here. We reset the calculator here when we create this window. So this um, in this on in the di dialog we will make sure that everything is reset properly so I call that reset there okay and um, one thing here is that if I now compile this project, let's see if it compiles first of all no what are the errors? Says that do version does not take one argument. Argument. Let's go and check. Yes, this handle number. Uh, let's set this um, initially to be true. So we always um, first handle the last digit before we handle handle the operation. <coughs> so this is we set this initially to true because normally that's the case what we want. When we press, for example, plus, there is always uh, one digit before that which we also want to handle so we want to always handle first the digit pressed sorry the number pressed before that and then after that uh, straight away the plus as well so they go together that's why I we we set it by default default true this handle number 
but there's an option just here that if somebody some for some reason in the future doesn't want to handle the number before the operation that only wants to handle the operation then we can set this one to false here like this so it would only handle the current operation like multipli multiplication for example and let's compile now we still get one error message oh I think it's the it was just running on the background that's why it didn't compile okay yeah it compiles now okay let's let's now try I will just quickly now check that it's about the same what it should be oh there's this I think it is there's this font this history font we haven't still done here it's I've done in the other project oh there it is there the history font set font oh they are sorry they are there they both have their own font here okay that's fine and yeah it's possible that everything is now here but let's just see we we run this and see if it works and let's see what happens okay so if i press here so this is this current project what we are doing right now here three plus five equals to eight that's correct minus six equals to two okay multiplied by nine equals to 18 so it seems like working and that one empties the so let's go one more time let's go through step by step I, I press this I will debug this thing now just at the end here then we will finish I will I will debug this thing here and let's do some operations here let's say I press first uh, one let's say two and uh, go from there let's start let's start debugging I pref press F5 <laughs> all right I press number two it goes here so we're going line by line and also we are jumping into the functions so I press F11 to go to inside this add digit function F11 okay so here we go and um, there is no error at the moment so we pass this one update data is taking uh, the values from all the controls and put it to the corresponding assigning them to the corresponding uh, variables okay and um, Oh, well, well, the the last input, there is no last input uh, before this, so it doesn't definitely go there. So we are doing this normal stuff here. So now we are checking that is the digit, as we can see, the digit is. We can't see what it is. Uh, oh, we can see it's two. Sorry, it's two. Uh, from tooltip we can see that uh, yet yeah, this is the current entry we just pressed two okay well it's not zero so it doesn't go there so now we're checking that if the output 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 is at the currently is zero and it is the reset string okay so that's why we go here and we will set the output to whatever digit was entered which is two in this case so the output becomes two and this means that we have entered now at least one digit so this flag becomes true and this one updates the window there's nothing nothing else happening so it puts the two there so now when i press let me pr let me press plus next so that means that let's put the dot here where the plus is plus is here i'm gonna press plus now oops there we go and now let's go inside this function to operation and we are passing this plus enum enumerator here there we go so the operation is plus 
as you can see from the tooltip and we want to handle the number before the plus as well there is no error then we go here and now we are uh, we want to handle the number before that which was the 2 at the moment we have 2 plus here which I can I can maybe type here what we are doing 2 plus is the current situation um, the action type the action type for for this 2 is a number the value is 2 so we are just converting this string to, an, uh, to a double 2 double as you can see it's a do double double now and then we are just passing this this action to the calculator and let's go inside now to the add input input see what happens there so we go inside the brain calculator now F11 so here we are so this is the most complex function here and let's see if we can deal with this okay so we just passed we are, we are passing now the digit first which is the 2 sorry the number first which is 2 and as you can see from the tooltip it's a number type and the last input was was um, none as you can see none so because we haven't added this is the first history we are historical action we are adding so there was none at before so last imp input is none and um, okay this input is it is a number so we're just going to do this simple thing simple thing here only so action if the last input action type okay last input is none so so um, it if the last input is not a number yeah, none is not a number, so it goes here. If it was a number, also that would be an error situation because we are adding number after number because we we need to have number plus number minus number divided. If we have number number number, that would be an error. This is what it what this if is checking that we are not adding uh, syntax errors here. So now we just the only thing we are doing here we just pushing back this. We are pushing this element to be the last element in the array in the history array we added this number 2 to the actions array and that's it and false means that we don't need to update update anything here I think so 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 now we're gonna go to this and now we're gonna uh, do the second action which is this plus because we are adding both of them. We first added this 2 and now we are adding this plus. So we are setting the action type to be plus. And error, uh, there's no error at the moment. So we are setting error input to false. And now we are adding this plus uh, to the calculator using the add input. So let's go inside again last input was 2 which was the number we have only one input there at the moment which is the number 2 and the current input is plus so now we go to the else if block here and we are checking that if, if this is an operation operation which it is plus is an operation so it goes inside here uh, if the last input action type is a number well the last input was a number it was two the last uh, this is the last input action and the action type is a number so it goes inside this if block um, last operation is none because before this one there is no operation because we just started so there is no operation before this so this last operation is none and now we're checking what is the last operation so we're going to do the none section here in case case none we do this one 
and we are checking that uh, is this current uh, input is it a term or expression uh, this is an expression here so it goes inside here and we are setting the expression value to two two we are just setting it because because um, there was no operation before this so this will become the only one the only and one expression so we don't need to add anything we just set it there because this is the first first value on the left hand side and the term will be reset just in case uh, there is no terms at the moment so we, we will reset the term so that everybody knows that there is no term, term is none and um, then we will add this plus to the history return true means that we want to we want to uh, update the screen as, as, as you can see if this is, if this is true we possibly um, update this um, this output output window okay and here if if there is no left term or or if there is no left expression then we will print in this case we don't have a left term so this becomes all of this this becomes true so we will go inside and uh, we will get the current result which is this two because the left left expression has the current uh, value two and then we will put that two to the output variable and we will update this uh, this output window with that value we will create a history now so let's go inside the history that's the that's the that's the history uh, edit box at the bottom of the dialog box let's go inside this function we will set the history text to empty then we will check the size of the history which is 2 at the moment we have in the history we have 2 and plus so we will take the first first um, action from the history we will check what is the type of the first action it is a number this is a number and we will convert that number to string string to and then we will copy that to this um, to this uh, number what is this number? ah this is a temporary string object number and um, then we are checking. Then we are just uh, setting this history text text to be that uh, two here. The history is was uh, empty, and now we are adding this number two to history. And that's it. And then we are gonna take the next. Um, historical action plus so we go to the plus section here and we are adding to the current history the current history is uh, one at the moment so we are adding a space and uh, plus and that's it history history is done history text is done and then we check we are checking here that is this operation equals operation it's not it was a plus operation so we go here and we just update uh, update um, all the controls with the current values and that's it and that's why we get this two plus here Okay, this is about how it goes. Um, 
it takes a bit longer to go through line by line, but I guess I'm gonna stop here, but I hope you get some kind of picture how this works and how you can debug this yourself if you want and um, this might be the last video, I don't know, I might add some t some some small small details later, let's see but uh, thank you for watching this and this is my calculator and uh, I hope you enjoy and I will I will uh, update the code, I will put the code in the github the, the latest version so you can download it there if you want thank you for watching and bye bye